Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, do you know that expression, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? Well, uh, if you heard about it, you know exactly what it means, right? I mean, if you're fighting with someone and someone wants to destroy your enemy, obviously it is uh, doing you a favor. So you, he must be your friend uh, by uh, you know association. So we can agree that uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the former mercenary, uh, possibly war criminal and a bad dude and all that, corrupt and so on, uh, up till a few weeks ago, uh, since then they don't refer to him as the mercenary or you know the um, war criminal or anything like that. He's all, either the private military company's boss or chief something like milder why because these guys were drooling when he said i'm gonna go to moscow and take care of the military leadership of uh, the russian federation and i will help uh, i will save putin well he said that these guys were like no 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 he's going to take putin as well that's not the point here uh, the point is that they were all happy applauding like seals <laughs> when Prigozhin said, I'm going to go there. So he was their dar darling for about a day. And after that, they might build this guy um, uh, monuments. Who knows? Why? Because I have this article here and it has an idiotic uh, title. So from remember, from Prigozhin being called uh, mercenary, uh, mercenary company, boss, uh, chief, uh, war criminal, all that, he becomes now rebellious like a rebel Rebe rebel okay let's uh, look at this idiotic title coming from fox news rebellious warlord oh he's a warlord now still on putin's doorstep despite reports he fled country not easy to get rid of him this title to me sounds like these guys are really honoring this guy rebellious warlord Ooh, warlord okay now, when I see rebellious, it reminds me of this. A rebel without a cause, <laughs> with James Dean. But hey, uh, this was supposed to glorify James Dean, you know, poor guy that was not understood and ba 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 Well, how about that? And how about this rebellious warlord? See, my friends, maybe it's just my interpretation, but I see a pattern. They don't refer to uh, Prigozhin anymore as a mercenary as a killer, or a, as a bad dude, Putin's chef. No, 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 no. He's something else. He's like uh, almost as close, almost as close as a hero. They can't say he's a hero, but for them, if he would have toppled, let's say, somehow in an impossibility, the Russian government, and he would have taken over and he said, okay, United States, come on in, all yours. These guys will bring and build him monuments, guarantee you. And he would be turning from a uh, criminal and a mercenary into a savior of the Western civilization. Or La Paganini right here close to the... Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable, my friends. These are weasels. Weasels, weasels. Well, you, are, you either have principles or what the hell. Uh, values, the Western values. <laughs> it's like forgiving, right? <laughs> but they don't forget Putin or forgive Putin. <laughs> it's preferential. That means there are, there are no principles there or really values. Anyway, funny, rebellious warlord. <laughs> uh, you can call, uh, for instance, uh, Washington, George Washington, rebellious warlord because he rebelled. He was rebellious, right? And he was, you know, I'm not going to stay in this framework. And then he was a warlord, he was a chief of an army and he was a warlord. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again. I'm, I'm not putting George Washington in the same category with Prigozhin. So don't be dumb, YouTube, okay? Or people who might uh, think that way. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.